Myanmar's new president, Tin Jaw, in the center next to the woman who chose him and who will tell him what to do. Aung San Suu Kyi has already made it clear she'll be the one making decisions in the capital, Naypyidaw. She's barred from the presidency herself, but has picked her friend and confidant to be her proxy. Sworn into power in parliament, he made it clear he'd push for more democratic change, but that's sure to be opposed by the generals. I have a duty to amend this constitution so that it becomes a constitution that suits our country and matches democratic values. At cafes across the country, people watched the momentous moment. After six decades of tough military rule, power has finally been handed over to a civilian. I like to public president is I like very like. Why? This is very freedom, very business. While it's accepted that Aung San Suu Kyi will really hold the power, the new president will still have a big role to play. Tin Jaw will need to show he can tackle poverty and deal with ethnic tension and corruption. But perhaps most importantly, he'll need to manage his relationship with the military. No one here needs reminding of the military's influence. It was showing off its strength just a few days ago. Despite allowing democratic elections, the army automatically gets a quarter of seats in parliament, enough to block constitutional change. Any push to weaken the military will likely be resisted. Which is why, although it's a day of great change, it also likely signals the start of delicate negotiations. Myanmar's path to democracy has only happened with the general's consent. Tin Jaw will be celebrating. So too Aung San Suu Kyi. But they also need to be careful. Duncan Crawford, TRT World, Yangon.